All right, man. Shrewd news and reviews, man. We back. Y'all know how we do, man. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I guess the man of the hour is Benzino. <laughs> Ethering Eminem. Could no. this be the end of Eminem's career? Benzino <laughs> shooting a video at what's being reported as Eminem's mother's restaurant, which I don't think that's accurate at all. Uh, it the restaurant is called Mom Spaghetti. It's a reference to a song that he made, but I did see some blogs picking it up. Like Benzino goes to Eminem's mother's restaurant. So oh, and that ain't Eminem Mama restaurant. I doubt it. It's it's more like <laughs> Eminem Spaghetti. He's you no, know, he's you know, um, palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms is heavy. He's on it on the sweater already. Mom Spaghetti. That that's what I think he's referencing to. I mean. That's kind of obvious to me, but it might not be obvious to everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. Uh, so just wanted to drop that. When we're watching this clip, our right. friend of the show, Natalak, pops up in the background, whom yeah. we've interviewed. You have a personal relationship with Natalak, mm -hmm. if you want to speak on that. Yeah, man, I met Natalak, man. Uh, you know, and we definitely got to get him back on the show, man. I met him uh, getting his water right. You know, he wanted to get his water right. Right, but, um, right. I mess with Natalak, man. We definitely gonna have to talk to him about this. He in the scene on like every scene I see. Like when we play this clip, we're gonna see a not a lot of Natalak. Yeah, yeah, we can get into it. Let's play a little bit of the clip and go ahead and react to it. For real. Hey yo, check this out. I just did a legendary interview with my dog Dogface TV, man. Shout out to Dogface TV, a fucking real one. I'm in the D. It ain't nothing but love. We here, baby. Let's go. I'm on my way to Coney right now. Listen, man, this just ain't no one-time thing. Every time I come to the D, my <laughs> big man hold me down. Oh, yeah. All right, Grizzly, put that thing on you. For real. Hey. <laughs> Crazy, man. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Mag TV too. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mag TV. What do you oh, have you heard this song? No way. Hey, history. I ain't even hear the song like yet. But um, um, okay. The last diss that I heard Benzino make to Eminem was good. Benzino has since admitted that he had several ghostwriters to assist him with the song, but there was some hard hitting bars on there. I didn't I didn't get time to do a breakdown of that. Um mm. I just don't know how hard this is going to hit after we saw Benzino crying in the Drink Champs interview right. over the beef with Eminem. Right. Um I just don't think that was a good look. Right. I don't know what was his point of that. It definitely got a lot of traction on the internet. But um, right. <laughs> right. you know, that was the most impressive thing about the interview. I mean, I don't think nobody would have cared if he would have just been on there talking. So I don't know his angle at doing that. But I think I, I disagree with you. I think people would have cared because people liked the song. But then it was kind of like you took the winds out of the sails by doing <laughs> an interview and crying yeah. about the man. You know, it just made him. I, I didn't think it it was his his proudest moment. Now, one could say people cry at sometimes, you know what I'm saying? People could get emotional. Yeah. I'm not really, I'm just saying everything's posturing here. Just like him going to Detroit to shoot the video, right? That's an old tactic when you're battling somebody like, I'm going to shoot a video on his hood. Like, we've seen this from yeah. Gilly going to Cassie's neighborhood. We saw uh, Lotto pulling up the Ice Spices neighborhood. We've seen... Uh, some people might know about the beef between Big Sad and DW Flame going on now. DW Flame shoots a video in what's said to be Big Sad's yeah. neighborhood. There's countless of examples of rappers dissing each other and you shoot the video in their, in their hood. So it's getting old, but none of us think that anything physical is going to happen between Eminem and Benzino at this point. I don't know. So it's all about posture. So if we're keeping in that thing about just appearances and how things look the crying on the interview thing didn't look good no i didn't and he was saying he don't want no problems with it so it's like 
it's, it's a wobbler at this point. I mean, one <laughs> minute you want beef, the other minute you don't. You know, you bringing up old stuff. So I, I don't know. I, I, I'm confused. Uh, did you hear Eminem's uh, this track, the Benzino? How do you think this matches up with it? Um, I think both of them was nice. You know, they bring it back that that old school beef. You know what I mean? Type of uh, rap style, but you know, it's not like the newer guys. But uh, I think it's just bringing back some old school style of rap. You know, both of these guys are older gentlemen. You know what I mean? So it's not like um, I think no. it brings back their career. I think it's bringing back some of their music. You know, this might have been a good business move for Benzino. You know, get his name back going. Get his name back buzzing in the in the industry. You know, of course. I mean, it's a crowd <laughs> move for sure. For real, the, yeah. The most popping thing about Benzino is his daughter. If you ask me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the she business. ain't been. Her hits hasn't been as you know. I don't think she is popular as a girl rapper as the other girls that are in the game. She, and, and you know what? She don't have to be. Right. You know, she she had hits. It's some yeah. people who don't never get no hits, you know, and she's one hit away from being the hottest thing again. I like I like the, how she looks. I like her performance uh, ability. She's gotten nothing but better over time, and she seems to get along with most people. So I think she has a long career ahead of her. You know, her father mm -hmm. is a legend, so she could yeah. leverage that to – she was just on a Buster Rhymes feature. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like so she could always she's always just one hit away from being yeah, the Benzino, next shit if you Benzino ask me. paved the way for it. He paved the way for it. Mostly. That would be a better clout move for you. Like he can't seem to get along with her for too long. <laughs> <But> <laughs> that would be a better clout move than going out Eminem because Eminem, he kind of bulletproof, man. We we saw the leak tapes where Eminem was saying the N-word and everything like that. That wasn't enough to stop Eminem. Eminem still has some heavyweight cameos in his diss against Benzino. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You would think you would think that would be how did how did that did how did you react to the old tapes being surfaced where Eminem was saying racist things and his explanation was he used to date a black girl and she did him dirty. So that's why he was emotional at the time. And I mean, how, how how did that sit with you? <laughs> um, I didn't hear the hard R. You know, normally when you you know when you hear that hard R, it it, it, it you know it it, it brings a little, you know, slavery days. But you know, I heard like the that might have I can't you know I just didn't care enough. I'm gonna be right. honest with you. I, there right. might have been a hard R in there, but might have been. I don't. Okay. No, I can't confirm that. I can't confirm okay. or deny there being a hard R. <laughs> okay. like, he definitely he said was yeah. was disparaging a black woman, and he made it racial. It it yeah. it was no it was no mistaking whether it was racist comments or not. Right. So let's not act like it was. You know, alluding to or it, nah, it was racist. <laughs> yeah, but damn, damn. I be seeing people with Hulk Hogan still. Hulk Hogan dropped a hard R, and it seems yeah. like he still got the support of the black community because yeah. niggas love wrestling. <laughs> That's yeah. one thing about it, you know. So you could come back from a hard R if you ask me. Yeah, Paula Dean used the hard R. We ain't throw Paula Dean away, did we? As a as a community, <laughs> no, but Eminem did put on a lot of black rappers and a lot of yeah, black and I think you could kind of yeah. say some dumb shit. We we heard uh Justin Bieber use a hard R. Yeah, we didn't throw him away. I mean, I think mm -hmm. you know it's something that you could come back from. Yeah, I mean, we as people, we don't like calling ourselves that too. So it's like you know it that word has been getting you know frowned upon, even upon you know. The black community, you know what I mean. I mean so I mean, nigga, I still use it. <laughs> Maybe a hard R or something like that. But I heard nigga as a term of endearment before I even knew it was something bad. Yeah, you know what real. I'm saying? Like, so real. I had to learn the science behind the word after I knew a nigga. You know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But I just feel like uh the black community is one of the most forgiving communities out there. Yeah, like, of course, we'll forgive you. We'll invite you to the damn cookout <laughs> without you doing anything. You know, it's just, that's just how we are as a people. Yeah. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a reality. So 
Yeah. Benzino bringing that up, that wasn't enough to end Eminem's career. Uh, no. Eminem is not even on the same planet as Benzino when it comes to rapping ability, if you ask me. No, you but know. they both legends, though. You got to give Benzino his credit. He's definitely they a both legend. legends. I mean, Benzino, I look at him as more of a legend for the Source magazine. I never really got into Benzino's music. I'm going to be honest with no, you. No, you know no. What's that? We gonna rock the party on the after party on the after party on the after party. Nah, you know that shit. Rap one of his thing. Yeah, I mean he it. had one song that was jamming. Yeah, he did have you know a hit. Saying, but, that's what I'm saying. He had some hits, but but hmm. I don't. I mean, when you say hits plural, I I can't. I don't really know <laughs> the second one. I don't really know right. the second one. Me personally. I know he was with Made Man, and they said it was a big thing in Boston. I'm saying personally, it didn't touch me like that. Right, right. You know, but I mean, if if you know something, speak on no, it. no, no, no. I got family in Boston, and I know he was. You know, he had some. He had some motion. He had some. No, motion. they said he was putting in pain in the streets. <laughs> like he, he was really out there. He done had a. Yeah. Uh, uh legendary fights with the locks and stuff like that so i'm not saying yeah. that his you know he's a legend bona fide yeah. i can't i can't take that away from him but for me to sit up here and act like i was in tune with the music like that no no nah, nah. yeah, i was down the way yeah we yeah, from i was down. way more into eminem I, eminem i think the slim shady lp might have been the first cd that i purchased Wow, that's great. Yeah, my, my first cassette tape was uh 1999 The Eternal Bone Thugs. And you so, know what else is crazy? My sons was singing his song Slim Shady, and I was like, Yo, that song came out when y'all wasn't even born. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so, that's what I'm saying. That and, and these people who will talk that shit, like, oh, I don't be hearing niggas in the hood playing. Eminem. I have heard niggas from the hood in the hood play Eminem before and all and they'll admit that he's one of the goats of oh, plenty people mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and just because yeah. like people in your circle don't listen to a certain artist that don't mean that he not ringing bells other places because i mean we've had that discussion before dog. like you could go to a lot of places and they don't know who jt money is but in lauderdale right. it's like he, he will he's forever like, huh. be a big deal yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like you know, so, you know, do you give Eminem top? Is is Eminem a top five MC for you? Un unquestionably. So, yes, yes, yes. Dang. I don't give him top five. I give him definitely top ten, but uh, I don't put him in my top five. But he's definitely a top ten legend for sure. I mean, there's a lot of people that you'll be shocked to find that they're not in my top five. So, right, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a flavor <laughs> type of thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those subjective type of things. But let me ask you this. This is kind of veering off uh, topic just a little bit, though. Mm -hmm. You met Natalak, who we saw making a cameo in the Benzino <laughs> video yeah. for uh, because of water treatment. I know right. that this is an issue that's dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you've been dealing with water for a long time. You've been helping families live a healthier lifestyle by, you know, cleaning up their water and everything like that. You got whole business because mm. of it how do you feel about the biden administration announcing 5.8 billion in funding to clean up drinking water were you aware of that yeah 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 i'm aware of that and they've been donating a lot of this isn't the first time uh a president not even a, even to single out biden but yeah. there have been infrastructures done on our water you know um time again and it's not that we still have chemicals we intaking. So the EWG does a report and let us know with all of the chemicals. So it's kind of like right now, cause I, 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 is it a good thing that Biden did it though? I mean, from history, I'm telling you from history, from us seeing what people have done when they donate money to fix the infrastructure, we still testing the water and it's still the We're same. We're not talking about donating money. We're talking about I mean, not donate. eight billion in funding. Yeah, trying to fix a problem is that can we just agree that that's a good thing? I just, from my experience, anytime that's been money, don't I mean, coming into the infrastructure, it doesn't change the way they have to treat the water, 
You get what fair I'm saying? Enough, fair enough. That's fair all I'm saying. Fair enough, man. So y'all weigh in and let us know, man, what you think about the Benzino and Eminem beef. For real. You know, you know who you got in this. I think it's uh, Eminem by a landslide, but I could be wrong. <laughs> For real. Now, if we're talking about antics, I got to give it to Benzino. But if we're talking about the music, I got to give it to uh, Eminem. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so look, man, we're going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Make sure y'all tap in, hit the like button, push it on the algorithm, man. We need all the yeah. help we can get, you heard? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay shrewd, man. Do that.